Hi everybody, it's Kristen. I'm here today to talk to you about a program that I took a class in in college and then taught as a teaching assistant throughout my time in college. It is a program called Jython. Jython Environment for Students is the full name. I call it Jython for short. Some people will abbreviate it as Jess. You might hear me calling it both things. Jess is designed to help people who have never really programmed before get introduced to it and it introduces you to Python specifically. It was designed to be able to help people see the result of their code right away and also use use code to edit pictures and do things like that or edit sounds as a way to get introduced to programming. To be a little more technical, it's a implementation of Python that's written in 100% Java. So because because it uses Python, you get immediate results from it the way other Python uh, implementations would give you. But having Java doing all the backend work gives you a lot more um, libraries and tools to access. So that's a little about it. My background with it, I like I already said, I took a class with it and I taught it. I taught it from the second semester of my freshman year to my final semester at school, uh, which was, I, I finished in three and a half years. So I really, really enjoyed the class. I really enjoyed teaching the class. And I kind of wanted to share what I learned from the class with the internet. And maybe, I don't know, Georgia Tech students who are taking the class now. There wasn't a whole lot about Jython on the internet when I took the course. I'm not sure if that has really changed. If you want to know how to install it, I would use this link. It's at https colon slash slash code.google.com slash archive slash p slash media comp dash jess. Um, if you want a video on how to install it, tell me in the comments below. There are two windows in jess, and I will show you the full program in just a second, but let me just explain. The white window is the coding window. That's where you keep programs you save. This black colored window is the command window. That is where you can trigger programs to run. You could also program in the command window. It's just you won't be able to save things and it, it won't be as fun. So right now I'm typing this is a comment. You know something's a comment if it's green. If it is green, you know it's a comment. You can write comments by using hashtags like this. Um, there's other ways to write them, but that's how I'm going to do it for now. So. And let me just go ahead and write this is the this is the command window down here and then this is the coding window so we're going to write a program and it's going to be a parrot program meaning it's going to parrot out whatever we put in with a small adjustment it will take in one variable, a string, and a string is just uh, a collection of characters that are connected. So a word would be a string, for example. Um, it will print out one line. That line will contain a string. It will combine the string squawk with the variable inputted. It will put the string squawk on the end of the combination of listed above. So let me show you the program. Calling it parrot, and we're just gonna put a as the name of my variable. So if I want to um, print out a line, I just write print. See, it turns blue. We're gonna print this string right here. We're gonna print squawk plus a plus squawk. Now to run it, we're going to load it. Loading it means you have to save it first, and then pair it. Hi. 
have to put it in quotes to show that it's a string. Otherwise, Jess will think it's a variable. Squawk, hi, squawk. Cute. What happens if we put a number in? Oh no, it didn't work. What's the error say? Cannot concatenate string and integer objects. Inappropriate argument type. Attempt was made to call a function with a parameter of an invalid type. Okay, so what happened here is Jess is treating this like a string and this like a string. And it wants to treat this like a string, but two is an integer. So here's what we can do. We can use this right here, str, and we'll put that around the variable. So now, when we put in an integer to this function, it will treat this integer like a string because we're telling it to do that. Ta-da! Okay, that is a very simple program. And I think it's good for my introductory video to Python. If you have any questions or have any topics you want me to cover, let me know. I can cover literally anything related to Jython or the course that I taught. Um, and if no one asks me to cover things, I will decide what I want to cover. Thank you for watching.